Hi and happy Monday and uh, welcome to another 15 minute time saver tip from Virtual Instructor. Hi, I'm Janet Leonard. I'm the founder and CEO of Virtual Instructor. And today I'm going to show you how to use Canva to create a filter that you can use when you're in Zoom. And just to show you, some people may be StreamYard people. I'm actually using StreamYard to, to um, actually broadcast this. So if you're a StreamYard person, you can actually go over to the brand area. And what I'm going to show you actually works the same way you can put the filter on. So I'm going to show you how to create this filter real quickly. And this thing, if, if you are a StreamYard person, if you're going to share the screen to something else, then you want to turn off the, the filter. So um, I'm now going to pop over to our website just for a quick little housekeeping. If you like these 15 minute little shortcuts that are, I show you, then you can come over to our website at virtualinstructor.com and on the home page, just click on Monday live calendar of topics. And then that takes you over to where you can see what the topics are. And if you would like an email reminder one hour before the, the talk on Mondays, then you can sign up and get the email or reminder. We won't bombard you with any other uh, emails. So today we're talking about creating custom filters in Zoom. Next week, I'm going to talk about uh, some things with headers and footers so that uh, you don't feel like throwing your computer out the window every time you're in headers and footers. So there's some little tricks. If you know them, they're just going to make your life so much easier. And then uh, the next week on the 21st, we're going to, oh, good. I'm glad you like my, my little peace symbol for Ukraine. I created that in uh, Photoshop, which I'm sure you could do it in Canva, but I'm more of a Photoshop person. So anyway, I'm also going to, on the 21st, talk about um, the clipboard options in Windows that a lot of people don't know about. So if you're a Windows user, there's some cool things that you can do with, with the clipboard. Alrighty, so now I'm going to pop over to Canva and I'll just show you how incredibly easy this is to set up. So you could create a filter with your company logo, with little messages, whatever it is that you might want. So basically we're in Canva and I'm on the home page. So I would just go to search and then in the search area, then you can just type in Zoom and then it will bring up several options, but this one called Zoom Virtual Background is actually set up with the dimensions that you need for your Zoom background. So you might as well just choose that one. And then it brings up, there's a whole bunch of backgrounds you can choose from, but we're just going to choose to create a blank one just so you can see how easy it is. So we come in here. And then you can, you know, choose any of the Canva options that you want. I happen to have some look my logos in here and there's my little custom peace sign. <laughs> and I don't know if you can tell, but that's the, the sunflower. So, all right. So enough of that. I'm going to talk about how to kind of create that thing I just showed you with my logo and then with my little Ukraine peace sign. So I can bring in. Um, whichever options I want. So let's say I decide I want to do this white one. Well, I'll start out with the black and then I'll show you the white. So I'll bring it in and then I can just simply resize it and then just move it to wherever I think I might like it. it kind of gives you a little border. It, it, it suggests that you stay within. Um, and then, you, of course, you can always modify it. And then I'll bring in my little piece symbol and I'll resize that. I'll put it over here. Okay, now the thing you have to remember is, I mean, this is all you have to do. You just bring your stuff in, right? But when we get ready to download it, that's where you need to know to make sure you tell it to not, to make the background transparent. So right now this is fine because it's white, right? But I'm going to delete this. And if I wanted to use my white logo and I bring it in here, then it's kind of hard to tell where it is, right? So then what you can do is if I just click anywhere in the background, see this little bunch of colors over here? This is a background color. So you can just pick some other background color so it stands out. So I'll just put, pick black because it really stands out, right? So if you're using something that isn't doesn't have a lot of white in it, then you can just use white background. If you have some graphics that have white in them and it's kind of hard to tell where they are, just change it to some other background, okay? Now here's the trick. You're going to then go up to file 
and then you're going to download it. And when you download it, before you download it, this is where, where you tell it that you have a transparent background. Otherwise, you're going to end up with, you know, this, this background. It's more of a, a background versus a filter in Zoom. So you just click on transparent background and then just download it. Um, that's all you have to do. And it's now being downloaded, right? Okay, then the other thing you might want to do, because when, when I pop you over to Zoom to show you how to actually add this, so it's a filter that you can use, it does ask you if you want to have a thumbnail. So the thumbnail, just to show you um, what's happening, I'm going to pop over to PowerPoint. I did a little screen capture of myself earlier. So you see these little things down here? These are the thumbnails. So these are the normal filters that come with um, Zoom. And then if you want to make your own, you're going to want to have some sort of little thumbnail because otherwise, especially if you have the stuff that I'm doing where it's spread out, it's really kind of hard to tell. So now I'm going to pop you back into Canva. And so in Canva, we're going to go back up toward the top. We'll go back to home. And then in this case, I happen to know that because Zoom tells you that the thumbnail should be 80 pixels by 80 pixels. So it's 80 little dots tall by 80 little dots wide, right? So then what you can do is come over to here to where it says custom size. Click on that and it asks you how wide do you want it and how tall do you want it? So you just type in 80 and then 80 and then just tell it that you want to create a new design. So then when you do that, you can do basically the same thing if you want to, I was just use my logo. So then I could come over here and just throw my logo in here, resize it, do whatever I want, and then go back up to file and then download it. So then you'll have your download. And then in this case, I don't care about a transparent background. So I'll just download it. So now I've downloaded these two files. So hopefully you can see it's really not that difficult. Just to refresh your memory, I'll go back to home right now. The way we found the Zoom one is I just simply typed in Zoom and then I went with the virtual background. And then when it came to the thumbnail, I just went to custom size and just I happened to know it was 80 by 80. So that's what I did there. Now that those are created, then we have to actually log into your Zoom.us account. So you don't go to the little desktop Zoom, you go to Zoom.us. So I'm actually already in mine right now. And this is really important because if you forget, you're going to get really frustrated. When you go to get to the account settings and we want to go to what's called in meeting advance, do not go to personal. You have to go to admin. So if you're not an admin, then you can't actually do this, this cool thing I'm showing you. But most people have their, their own Zoom account. So you go down to admin and you go to account settings. Actually, you go to account management and then you go to account settings, right? So you go down to admin, account management, and then choose account settings. And then from here, so you don't have to scroll down and look at 80 billion things. You can click on in meeting advanced. And when you do that, it pops you over to this area and then you scroll down a teeny bit. And if you wanted to do a virtual background, that's where it's the whole background. This is where you can do that. But if you keep going down a little further, you have video filters. And so I have my two already. And then when you want to add or manage it, you simply click on manage filter. So if you don't see this, that means you went through the personal group, not the admin. So you have to do the admin. All right, then we just click on here and then it's super easy. You can drag your files in here or you can just choose a file. So I'm going to go to choose files and uh, it's in my downloads. And in fact, I'm going to change it so I can actually see these pretty well. So let me go to that. OK, so let's say we decide we want this one right here. I was playing a little bit. So this is the one I just created. So I'm going to click on it and then I'll choose open. And then it actually brings it in. It's kind of nice. It's got a little bit of background for you. So you can resize it if you wanted to. I think I like this. So you can kind of see this is probably where you or the person's going to be. And so we've kind of got it on the side. Then all we have to do is click next. And then it shows you what it's going to look like in the if you're watching it on the in your phone. Um, and then you click. And by the way, if you want to add more things, anytime you see this little icon here, 
that just lets you go add something else. So you could add more things on here if you wanted to. I'll click next. And then this is where you get to call it what you want. I'll just call it Canva. So I know which one it was. And if you don't do a thumbnail, it's going to try to create one based off of your filter. But that might be kind of hard to see. So if you did create the thing, and this is why I knew it was 80 by 80, because it told me to create it 80 by 80. So you just change the thumbnail and then you come in and find the one you downloaded. And then all you have to do is choose save. And now I have, I'll close out of here. And now I have three different ones. So my newest one is a little, little smaller than the other ones I created. All right, so we went into Canva, we created stuff. We then downloaded it. Remember, if you want a transparent background, you got to tell it transparent background before you download it. Then we came into zoom.us, logged in here, made sure we went down to the admin portion. Can't stress that enough because I've even blown it sometimes and I forget. And if you go into the personal one, you're going to see this option, but you can't make any changes. So you've got to go to admin account and then down to account settings. Now I'm going to attempt to pop into my Zoom desk. Uh, the desktop uh, version. So I'm over here in the D Zoom desktop. And now I'm going to go down to my settings. And so this is where you can do it through. Whoops, I got to bring it over to the right screen. There you go. So you could do this when you're in Zoom itself. And you go down to the little video thing and click to change your background. You'll see filters there. Or you can do it from here. So back over in the filters. And then now because my camera is being taken over by StreamYard, you don't see me here. But then you would just click on whichever filter you wanted. And if you were in Zoom, it would automatically apply that filter. So I did a little screen capture just in case we because, you know, I'm using multiple I have the camera on through uh, StreamYard instead. So I'll pop back over to good old uh, PowerPoint. And here's my lovely little screen capture I did. Um, so this is where I just picked whichever one I wanted and it shows up right here. And by the way, in StreamYard, I'm going to stop this and come back over to myself. And in StreamYard, for those of you that are StreamYard people, I just went over to brand and in the overlays, I just uploaded the same file. So now when I click on show, I've got it over here too. So it, you can use it multiple places. All right, so hopefully that gave you some ideas of uh, how you can create your own custom filters that are really nice to have when you're in Zoom. Maybe you don't, and by the way, you can apply this. You can have a background as well as the custom filter. But if you're like me and you kind of want your regular background, but you want to add something in the filter, then that's where the filters come into play. So hopefully that gave you some ideas and uh and if you're a Photoshop person, then you probably have already figured out how to do this in Photoshop as well. But most people are Canva people. And so it's incredibly easy. That's a great, great little program, that Canva. So, all right. Well, wonderful. And I hope you all have a great rest of the day and a wonderful week. And uh, next week, if you work in Word you might and use headers and footers, you might want to pop in and, and watch that one because I've got some little shortcuts for you. Thanks so much. And oh, hey. Uh, so bye, Terry and Deb. Nice, nice to see y'all here and have a wonderful rest of your day and a great week. Talk to y'all later. Bye.